Okay, I made a story pole, a 2x4 story pole for our stairway. And what this is, is I just took a 2x4, I marked the bottom, and I marked the top. And in between each one of these lines is our stair risers. 7.5 inches, 7.5 inches, 7.5 inches, and 7.5 inches. Now, remember, all of our all of our tread and riser measurements are going to be like their finish measurements. So the top of the fourth riser, one, two, three, four, is going to be the very top of the stair tread. All of our measurements are going to be um, for our stair treads are the very top of the stair tread. So in other words, our riser measurements so from here to here is going to be seven and a half inches. This will be the top of stair tread number four, top of stair tread number three, number two, and the top of stair tread number one. And uh, then what you're going to do, because we're going we're gonna to have a floor or a landing here, you can put the thickness of your decking, in this case we're using half inch plywood because it's a sample. I don't ever recommend using half inch plywood for your stair treads or any of your um, platforms. And then we're going to have 2 by 6 joist. So I marked it out here and this, what this does, and the reason for the story pull is it actually gives us a measurement from here to here of how tall we can build our wall for the upper platform that the stairs are going to be connecting to. So this is a good way of figuring out um, figuring out where each riser is going to be and where you can put your platform at. So as you can see, we've got 30 inches. By laying it out like this, we can see that we need a 24 inch wall. And then our two by six joist will sit on top of that wall. On top of that will be a half inch um, decking material. Now, if I was going to use inch and a half, um, for my decking. Let's say I wanted to have two by six because it was going to be a deck. I would subtract an inch and a half instead of a half inch and then subtract my two by six. So if I subtracted an inch and a half that put me at 28 inches and then if I subtracted another five and a half inches there's your half one two three four five that would give me a 23 inch wall so that's it for the story pole and sometimes these story poles can make a big difference in stairs building your stairs and I like to use them for siding also